Hello, my name is Breeze Honeycutt, and I'm the artist in residence at Hancock Shaker Village. And I'm going to talk to you about dye stuff, things you might be able to dye with from your kitchen or from your neighborhood, the forest, your backyard. So let's go to the kitchen. Um, start saving those avocado pits. If you don't eat avocados, maybe your neighbor does, um, or a restaurant, you can ask them to save it. And they, avocado pits makes beautiful shades of pink. That's just straight avocado pits. This is avocado pits with baking soda and that lovely pink and then a little more copper um, with vinegar. So those are avocado pits. Right next to it we have onion skins. You can use red or gold and it's really just the papery outside of the onion. And look at that. That is an amazing color. When that came out of the dye bath, I gasped. So you can do that as well. Um, black beans, use the water when you soak your black beans. Makes this lovely lilac-y gray. That's stunning. And if you want to start saving your tea bags, you can um, put your cloth in with the tea bag and you get that lovely color. You can also make a meal, a little guacamole, a little black beans. So that's from your kitchen. Now we're gonna move outside. It's autumn here, so we're looking for what's falling on the ground. And we find black walnuts. Um, and you use just the outside of the nut. I love the way it smells. And I like the dark, beautiful, luscious browns even better. And we also use acorn caps. Um, I, you don't have to use the nut, you can let the birds and the squirrels have them, um, but it makes this lovely pale golden brown. Earlier in the summer, I was gathering goldenrod, which is this yellow plant, which you will see in many fields, and it makes this show-stopping yellow color. Um, and it's very easy to make a dye with goldenrod, but I would ask that you think about what might be what pollinators might be using the goldenrod or what might be eating the nuts and so leave some behind for the pollinators and the animals. I usually gather one in ten of uh, goldenrod, that's the rule. So these are from your neighborhood, forest floor, and from your kitchen. So happy dying.